Well, only on Fox, a Greenville family is asking the community for answers so they can find a killer. LaMarcus Boz Boswell was shot and killed last March in the area of Lanford Drive and Paper Mill Road. Now, the family spent part of tonight handing out flyers and hoping for tips, anything that can bring jo Boz justice. And Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson was there. He joins us live from the Law Enforcement Center with the very latest. Jarvis? Cody, Diana, this family is desperately asking for answers and who killed LaMarcus Boswell. Now, these are the flyers that they did hand out today. They're wanting to know who in the community knows what happened, and they're asking that person to come forward. Justice for Bob. Thank you, man. What you see here is a family fighting through the pain after their loved one was killed almost one year ago. LaMarcus Boswell's family passed out these flyers not too far from where he was gunned down, hoping someone will come forward with information. My stomach feel real queasy. Seems like the closer and closer it get to his anniversary day, the week and week I get. Dorothy Boyd's son died at the hospital from gunshot wounds to the chest a year ago. I spoke with his young son, DeMarcus, Wednesday afternoon, and he says losing his father has been tough. I feel sad and worried. DeMarcus was brave and fought back tears while I was talking to him. He says this is one of the hardest things to deal with as a nine-year-old. If I don't have my dad with me, then I just feel frustrated because I like both of my parents to be with me. Right now, the family is upset with how long the investigation is taking. They feel being out in the neighborhood where the shooting happened, continuing to press for answers is the best thing they can do. Maybe someone will speak up and come forward on what happened to my brother. Now, the family told me they were back in that same neighborhood last week, going door to door, knocking on those doors, passing out these flyers as well. Earlier today, I did reach out to the Greenville County Sheriff's Office to find out where they are in this investigation. As of right now, I have not gotten a response. Reporting live in Greenville tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.